Hello, everybody, and welcome to the newest indoor adventure in Monster Noir, Things Found. Today is November 25th, 2020, and you are loved, and that is a very important thing that we like to remind each and every single one of our viewers and listeners at the beginning of each and every single one of these games. If this is your first time joining us, you can go to youtube.com slash indoor adventures to check up on all of the VODs of each of the games that we have played up until this point, or you can go towards where anywhere audio casts are made available for free. You can find us there under the same moniker. And speaking of things that are being made available for free, if you go to patreon.com slash indoor adventures you can find our after show called knights in the courtyard where we answer questions not only from the community but also from each other so if you have any questions for myself or any of these other fine folk feel free to go to youtube.com or patreon.com slash indoor adventures and you will find your answers there but if you already support us on patreon you already support us on twitch youtube all those other places and you're thinking to yourself how can i help further support the show hey guess what if you go to indoor adventure no s at the end dot redbubble.com you can find our merch store we got t-shirts we got posters we got mugs we got crop tops throw pillows shower curtains clocks aprons stickers journals we got so much stuff all of which is just waiting for you and your perusals. And uh, did we mention that we have Tia masks? So we have face masks with the symbol of Tiamat and Tyrant Security upon them, made by our very own Cyberwolf1201. And all of the proceeds from those masks end up going to support Doctors Without Borders and the continuing search for a vaccine to COVID. So if you would like to help a good cause or help support the show, you can go to, again, indooradventure.redbubble.com. But that's it for my spiel. So, hey, Satan, who are you playing today? Hi, I'm Satan, and today I'll be playing Lilith, the vampire mobster. Uh, and that's that's me. She, I'm, I'm looking forward to whatever the fuck we're doing tonight. So, <laughs> Hey, everybody, I'm Wings, also known as Danae Keener. I'm going to be playing as, oh, no, I went out of order. <laughs> <laughs> who lost her head as i often do as i just uh uh demonstrated Done. uh but she got it back hi i'm jen i'm hopefully playing Beltin hawthorne the right hand to lilith the bay mobster and I'm the indoor adventurer, and tonight I shall be playing as Kane, the phantom thief lich, uh, who happens to have a thing with Philly. It's been a good time. And I'm Greybeard of Greybeard's Tavern, and tonight I'll be, uh, oops, wrong one. <laughs> oops, still wrong one. <laughs> one more try. I'll be the cheap Randy Quaid. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, I will not be cheap or Andy Quaid. Um, I, I'll be game master I tonight. Uh, I have You've been thinking about, <laughs> about doing uh, parody videos uh, of the Randy Quaid videos because that makes me laugh. All right, so uh, what are we playing? What are we doing? Where am I? Tonight we're playing our Monster Noir game, which is once a month we play a game we wrote it like three in the morning the night before we <laughs> decided to play we wanted to have monsters we wanted it to be set in like the 20s in a noir kind of universe uh there is a veil which normally protects nor folks from seeing into the into the monster realm uh think supernatural hellboy um uh, and uh, what are the other ones I usually name? Dark Shadows, that kind of thing. We also, it's an improv game, so we're really kind of and yes, and yes, and, and we just kind of write it as it goes, generally speaking. I usually have one plot point, and it's just, like I said, an improv show where it's like, this is happening, go. And uh, so if it looks a little janky or meta sometimes, and we're talking, it's, it's really the way the game goes uh, or the way we made it to go so that we could all, it's, it's our story. We can all be involved. Um, so with that, um, I would like to say, was there anything else that we needed to discuss? Everybody introduce themselves. I think it's just time for a little bit of a recap. 
Ah, um, so uh, recap wise, they uh, you're that really doesn't matter, dark shadows wise, because we're not we're not picking right up from there. That's we're picking good. up a, a, a later a month or more uh, later on. We will say, I, I guess, I will say that the the characters themselves are all monsters or types of mm, folklore individuals. Uh, they have uh, all have uh, special um, powers and or such. Let's let's do that real quick. Uh, uh, so. You all said what you're playing or who you're playing and what you are. Just give us a couple of little things that your character can do just to kind of set the stage. Uh, same order. Sure. <clears throat> uh, Lilith, well, she's a vampire. She can do vampire stuff like Charm You, which we named Look Into My Eyes. She can unleash the beast, which is when she goes full vampire. Uh, she has the heart of darkness which is she has control over shadows, which has come in clutch a couple of times. Um, and uh, recently, in the last level up, she got Flight and Fang, uh, which is she can turn into a, bat, a flock of bats, a black dog, or fog. There are a few other ones, like she can be real fast, or, you know, she drinks blood, but that's just regular vampire stuff, you know? That's what she can do. And she has money. She's rich. That's also the power she has. <laughs> uh, uh, are we gonna go? No, that's right. I guess we'll just go in the order that we went last. Um, uh, I'm playing as Philomena, the the Delahan. Her abilities are typical Delahan stuff, where she can conjure us a, a whip made out of a human spine. Uh, she can summon the Death Wagon which is a, a steed that, that can travel through the mists and into the land of the dead. Uh, she's a harbinger of doom, which basically means that she can cast Thaumaturgy, if you're familiar with 5th edition d and um, And she's headless, so she can harmlessly remove her own head. Um, those things. Hello. Person. That's a cat. That's that's not what her steed sounds like. That is not what her steed sounds like. I, I conceptualized her as basically very similar to um, Ghost Rider. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But like old Victorian. Yeah, old goth. Victorian Ghost Rider, but like you know, dressed like a like a widow. So goth, old Victorian ghost uh, goth Ghost Rider. Exactly. Got it. Um. Beltane can he can turn invisible. He's part of the old world before coming to America. So he's part of the old world Fey, particularly in the British Isles. Um, he has an ability where he can move short distance that can be upgraded to long distance, but at a cost of his luck. Um, he's really good at persuasion and talking to people, great with guns. Uh, he adapted ability of touch of humanity where he could hide from other fae be beings, uh, but he also picked up a um, ability that's not yet been explored that I haven't mentioned quite yet. Uh, yes, your steed of death. <laughs> the best steed. And Kane is a lich, but he doesn't really know magic. Uh, if anything, he just is more on a on a big timer until death day. Uh, but he can reset that timer by consuming gold. Uh, that ability is called Rewind the Sands. And then, of course, he has a skeleton hand that he can use as a key to open up non-magical locks. Or he can detach the whole arm uh, and send it scampering places, almost like a familiar. Uh, last time we played, I think... It's his entire left arm is now a skeleton, and he's been trying to get that quarter part, like his forearm back. No, he's bony. All right. So as we begin, our uh, crew here was a vacationing in Europe, and a uh, little time has gone by. What uh, happens is that. Um, at some point, uh, Philly, you are called away for your duties, and we see a um, a place deep underground, 
uh, like a cavernous cave and there's like some drawings on the cave walls and we kind of come past them and we, you know it's an opening scene we don't really see the drawings they're not really in focus and then we pan over and we see these spelunkers uh, these explorers uh, maybe archaeologists we don't know but they're all dead <laughs> they're laying in a grim rictus, uh, some clutching, you know, still clutching a pickaxe, some grabbing at their own throats and whatnot. Um, we see that the, the walls are a little glistening. They get a little glisten to them. They're, they're kind of wet here. And um, it's apparent that it, it is and or was really warm. Um, now your, your gothic, uh, hearse coach, you know, <laughs> comes into being and we see the Lily, uh, Philly, do you, uh, do you have your head off all the time and uh, like set somewhere or do you usually? So, sometimes she has it with her, but I think on, on this occasion, she has kept it somewhere safe. Um, just, uh, j just for now. Okay. So, so headless, headless as of now. And do you have your fake head and your grim, uh, you know, Ringu uh, <laughs> covering thing going on? Yes. Okay. So that's what we open with, and she's really big, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. And so we see her coming along and just like you know gripping, palming, you know, <laughs> these these dead folks' whole heads and dragging them into the into the uh, hearse. Um, and uh, as she finishes her grim work, the the coach uh, and her, you know, roll off into the into the mists you know, that that are created by it. And there's a creepy little wind blowing, and the you know the the dust and whatnot rolls. Uh, you know, we we see the disturbance, and we see one of the the pickaxes of these spelunkers just disturbed just the tiniest bit by this wind and it uh ah, and it falls on the floor okay so oh there this one there we go some more and the pickaxe you know just the tiniest bit of movement from the coach makes it warble and tip and it, it ticks into the rock um so it ticks into the rock and then it slides away and then we hear tick 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 and the rock from inside pokes out the the rock has sort of like just like comes apart like something on the other side is mining its way out and then we hear the ticking and we're seeing the ticking and bits of rock are flying away as, uh, as it goes. And uh, as, it, as it keeps going, uh, finally the rock cracks aside and this somewhere between uh, a turkey and a velociraptor. Oh God. This head appears with a big uh, waddle, a big red waddle, and it looks around, and then you hear it clawing at the rock, and as it squeezes its way out, we see off into, is it, is it an underground world? Is it another dimension? Could it be part of one of the primal planes? Don't really know. But as far as we can see, we see these Philopsa turkeys oh, no. fighting one another and killing one another and just clawing and eating one another just as far as the eyes can see. Hey, what's going on at Lilith? Where are you guys at and what are you doing on your vacation? Well, last time we had come back to our home turf, um, 
I guess uh, Lilith would be. We had come back to America. Yeah, that's where you met Philly. Yeah, we were oh, in Europe, yes. but then we tree okay. hopped from. Uh, uh, yep, to North I America, forgot about South the America. tree hop. Yeah. So then we guys went home at the end. You didn't go back to Europe. No. No. All right. So then this is in a cave near near the hometown. It's like a Pennsylvania mining cave. Like yeah. one of those mine shafts that's just lost to time. There are hundreds of millions yes. out there. Yeah, and that's and it hence it was probably somewhere, like I said, there were these cave drawings we saw. And so the uh, you know, the kids usually probably went there to do what kids do. And then these spelunkers went, oh what? And went to investigate. This is the Cthulhu crew that mm-hmm died there <laughs> that philly just picked up it's a party of cthulhu players done all right <laughs> and so we're at home it's near the holidays and uh yeah what's happening at lilith's um honestly she's she's tired of celebrating any holidays because mm-hmm. for the past what year and a half every holiday something happens so she's just at home, just wanting one one holiday. Where it's just, 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 just her drinking some tea, <laughs> which is just warm blood, <laughs> <laughs> um, and just trying to relax. All right. She's probably like in front of the 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 fireplace. <laughs> has invited like Kane or and Beltane over uh, because I remember last time she was not she's no longer like just straight up mean to Kane she's just like okay because if you guys watch previous episodes he dropped some truth on her mm. okay so uh, having a, a nice evening um so, Philly, did you leave your head at Lilith? Yeah, she left it with Kane. All right. She's multitasking. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> in that, in that, uh, in that time frame, Satan, don't no, throw that, me, don't throw off my game. Um, that's not. That's why. Okay. <laughs> okay. That is not. <laughs> okay. Whew. Step side go all right Nights of the courtyard <laughs> Nights of the courtyard back to the scene um so uh so philly your your head's there um i'm gonna say that you return um your uh body walks in uh, to rejoin the the festivity here um if if she would be invited lilith yeah. Okay. She gets um, super along with Philly. Nah, perfect. Um, and so yeah, just uh, I I would assume you explained you had to go somewhere and do something, uh, and that's why you left momentarily. That's that's the like general uh, consensus I believe is that she she does this commonly is that mm. she'll just like be all like hey sorry something came up I'll be hanging out but I won't be able to like do anything so like <laughs> he's just kidding with her <laughs> head under his arm I'm, lo- I'm lurking uh, you it's, know it's, it's, yeah it's the equivalent to joining like a Zoom call and just muting yourself you know like nope. it's like I'll be listening in. Um, but like, I, I feel like they have a couple of different ways that they do this is like, you know, either just under somebody's arm or like up on a, up, up on a mantle, like, I, like a bust I, I feel, would be. I feel like, like Lilith has made her this little like pillow, uh, like where you put a crown, it's like indented so her head would fit there and it has like little wheels on the bottom in case you want to move her. Oh, oh I, I, was I was thinking, thinking cat some- bed. I was thinking something more akin to like Weekend at Bernie's, where they, they it's the other just... half of the mannequin, where they put it into a wheelchair so they can just like wheel her around, you know, like. Yeah. Oh, Kate yeah. would definitely so, yeah. do that. So she yeah. can participate in you know civilized company and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. 
All right. So we have this like, you know, uh, 19 turn of the century, like uh, antiquity wheelchair. It's very, you know, wrought iron and very, very well, not wrought I iron. stole but, it. But yeah, stole but very, it very it. nice. Um, it's the high back wickered thing that rich mm -hmm. people would have uh, kind of thing. And then, of course, there's the mannequin with a with a with, with a stump bed kind of thing. Maybe it looks like a, a big cushioned collar or whatever. You yeah, know, and she has like a scarf. I mean, she has that old Victorian like long sleeve dresses. So she is mm -hmm. and gloves. Everything's fine. Doesn't, yep, doesn't, yep. It's fine. All right. So uh, uh and no one is gonna say anything about a woman in a wheelchair. You're not gonna. You're you're not gonna bring stuff up. It's like, why is she so stiff? Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, um, so as uh, as this is happening, you're having a good evening. Philly's mm -hmm. body comes back, and then Philly, you realize there's there's another one. There's another body. I think there's two bodies. Hmm. Well, more like more than she picked up. Yeah, there's these are new. They're close to those last ones, but they're new. Oh. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm going to have to step out again. Her hmm. body turns around and walks back out. <laughs> I got you wine. So Can't. you Oh, okay, go ahead. I was like, we can't give you wine yet because your head's not attached to your body. It's just not going to fall out. <laughs> no, that's not how that works. She can still have wine. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a head, you just put a bottle of wine. It's just gone. <laughs> has, has anybody seen The Good Place? Yeah. yeah. Um. There, there, there's a, a character in The Good Place that's like a, a, a like a, a, a an AI or a simulation. Mm -hmm. She can't drink anything, but like whenever she gets a beverage, she just takes it politely and sniffs it. <laughs> I, I feel like that's the situation whenever her body's not attached. <laughs> to say, or it's like a planter. There's like a, a tray, and it you know it goes in. It's <laughs> just you like can glug, taste glug, it, baby. Yeah, you can taste it. <laughs> All exactly. right, so uh, love the physics. Uh, so you you go back and um these the there's a, a they obviously it was a couple taking like a nice fall walk um and they have been brutally mangled just hmm. mangled and and scratched like all scratched to pieces and there's these little like boils all over them and I mean, as you get there, the boils are starting to 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 increase in size. The, mm -hmm. I mean, you can literally physically see the boils growing. Hmm. I back back at Lilith's place. She's like, hmm. This hmm. Well, this is interesting. I'm not cheating. Holds up cards. But that's the wine you like. I got it specifically for you. It's a vintage. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. I I know it's not polite to talk about work while, you know, we're socializing, but um, there's, there's some strange things occurring out there. <laughs> just with her car, with her, like her hand of cards, she's just like, <sighs> <laughs> I just want it one, one holiday. <laughs> just one holiday. <laughs> just, it's just the one. Well, well, if you skipped Thanksgiving last year, it's not, we don't celebrate that where I'm from. <laughs> so, no, no, no. You didn't have an adventure for Thanksgiving last year. True. I was asleep the entire day. <laughs> I fed off someone who was drunk, so I was drunk most of the day. <laughs> Oh, I see. That well, was my bad. Yes. There, these, these two bodies are um, different than normal. As in, they're... <laughs> you, you wouldn't happen to know of any sort of like lycanthropes or 
Don't talk to me about werewolves. I... Oh, we're, yes, we know a bunch of werewolves. Um, yes. they're, they're torn up pretty badly and they've got some sort of growths on them. STDs. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I don't think I've any, seen anything quite like this. Uh, where are you? What is your location? You know what? I'll come to you. Okay. <laughs> she rolls in again. Right. While she's coming in, Lilith is just like putting on like a suit. Like I just want one fucking holiday, and I don't without having to like. Her body will like. I, I imagine that like the the hearse itself has like um, kind of a built-in morgue uh, in it. Like she opens up the uh, the side doors, and then like she can roll out some uh, some drawers with the bodies on them. Nice. Dimensional nice. space. Um, so uh, let's say it's a it, it, so it's a like a Victorian uh, Gothic coach, and let's say the the doors open in back, and and you can like raise up and down these slabs within. It, it, it's um, oh yeah, like the, kinda... there could be like a, a handle on the side that you pull it, and yeah. it, like it, it makes it like flip like the uh, um, like the uh, the the it's, uh, Game show wheel. What, what's that? Oh, one? <laughs> wheel of Price Fortune. Right. Not, not the Price wheel of Fortune. Right. Uh, Price, Price is right. right. That's yeah, the okay. one. All um, right. And it like flips, 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 and like you know stops it on the one that she needs, and then pull out the drawer. Nice. Yeah, and it, it pulls out the the, the slab, and it, um. Oh, so nice. um, did you uh? So did you then gather those bodies? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Did. Well, oh, there was probably something bad going to happen when there. <laughs> that, that's yeah. That's why I'm asking. <laughs> she it, gathered the bodies. Yes. Okay, and then brought them to Lilith's house. Yes. Yeah, so um, that's, that's her job. That's what she does. They're, you know? they're outside of my house. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're in the in the the covered veranda outside yeah. where where you the would pull up. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, you all are out there looking. Yeah, I'm, I should. Lilith has like her mask on, working masks, uh, mm. gloves on. She's like, okay, let's see what's going on here. Um, and by this time, you see that they've uh, these boils have swollen to the, like a really like this big, like the size of a melon, you know, and they're so. Th- Thin that you could see something moving around in. <laughs> Lilith's backing up. She's like, uh, the uh, mm, I'm just gonna. <laughs> she says behind Beltane. Nope. <laughs> All right, and and there's probably a dozen of these things, and they all just start to split open, and these bird dinosaur things kind of unfold, and just kind of fall all over. And just start scattering, oh, just in directions. Oh no! A dozen, there's like a dozen of them came oh, off of this no. body. Uh, Philomena's gonna grab one of those like bells that mm. like y- y- that, that go over uh, like plates and stuff. Mm-hmm. She's gonna like pull it off of one of the dishes and then like try and catch as many as she can <laughs> on, in one fell swoop. All right. Um, you guys were outside, so having a a, a tray a, a tray covers not available. Oh, I, 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 I maybe expected... it's to cover her like her like medical supplies. Like, ta-da! <laughs> here's a scalpel. Um, I, we can say there's like I thought uh, there was like may- a dinner party in the garden. Yeah, maybe there's a um. Maybe maybe your your gothic coach has a like bells on it like mm-hmm. like almost church bell kind of things mm-hmm. if you'd like you can like grab one of those and but you're only even with a dinner cover you'd probably only be able to get one of these things because right when they were they were about this big and they were like twice the size you know how how birds when they're come out of the egg all of a sudden like, they're bigger than the egg yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. so yeah that's that's it so uh may i try something sure sure uh, she's gonna since we're outside and I'm assuming it's nighttime, mm-hmm. she's gonna try to make almost like a net of shadows and just kind of scoop as many as she can up. Does that make okay. sense? Sure. So um, I will roll for that. I have to. Yeah. 
I'm using my the heart of darkness for my yes. control over shadows. Yep. Uh, unfortunately, you're calling shadows in because you're under the. I can never remember what it's called. The porte. Port cocher. Port cocher. Uh, the awning over the doorway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, le, 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 le. I forgot to take my dice. So I'm going to use the dice roller. Two d six. Two d six. Roll, baby. Uh, that's a number. Uh, math. <laughs> Uh, -na -na -na. I have okay. Uh, how much is six plus three is nine, nine plus another three? Twelve. Twelve. Okay. All right. Yeah, you uh, you scoop these things up, and you know they're little, they're little, you know, reverse knee legs. And you're sticking through, and they, some of them got their heads already jammed through the, the the shadow netting, and you pull them together, and they immediately turn on each other, and they start pecking each other and clawing each other, just like ripping into one another. And you see when they rip, there seems to be. Their their uh, reverse claw seems to be secreting something. So as they rip at the flesh, that the flesh is things are being implanted in the flesh by that that reverse claw. Does anyone have some sort of a lot of fire? <laughs> <laughs> I'll just give Lilith a long look. I don't know. Maybe. Can people... I'm only named after a god of fire, but sure. Okay, mister, I lied to my <laughs> a mistress. <laughs> Do you want fire? Yes, I want these things burned and gone. <laughs> They're ruining my night. <laughs> Just look to King. You have a lighter. Just uh, light it and blow. <laughs> I almost imagined, like, throughout this entire scene, like, Kane had brought Philly over in the wheelchair for, like, a girl's night playing cards or something like that. <laughs> he was probably, like, in another room playing piano and just, like, sees shit happening outside. Just, what the heck? He, like, stands up. And said, just, what is going on out here? What are those things? Do you have a lighter? <laughs> he fumbles for it, pulls out, like, Pulls out the zippo, flips it open. Just do I say like back, back, you fiends? Or no, just no, turn just it on blow. and blow. Just, 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 blow. just blow. I don't know what that's gonna do, but uh, just do it. This is actually a really poor time to tell you that I don't do woodwind so good anymore. Ever since the whole just, clock just, thing, just do it. I'm telling you, I can't. <laughs> you can't just. Okay, I'm not it. really okay. a woodwind guy anymore. I'll take I'll take the the lighter and just. Why do you tell us? You, uh, Lilith does that. I uh, just wave my hand and the flame shoots out. Why didn't you tell us you lost a lung? No, Is it's that... not that I lost a lung. I just don't breathe anymore. Oh, oh, that's. I don't not... have breath to okay. blow. You could. I, 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 you I don't have. To okay. <laughs> It's just this whole conversation while the sack of turkeys Ooh, is on fire. Yep. So uh, I, we're not even going to roll for it because it's a good story. The flames burst out. Um, unfortunately, fire is light. And shadow can't exist in light. So as the fire comes out, the shadow is, is, is burned away. And it's hitting the turkeys. But the, the fire is literally like like making the net disappear. So they're they're starting on fire and, and falling away with little bits of flame on them and, and hitting the ground and, and scattering. Roll me two D six. Uh, anyone who hasn't rolled yet. And that's how many turkeys get away. Everyone but me. <laughs> yeah. Somebody else roll. I, I historically roll very well in this game. Hmm. <laughs> Please roll literally show me. I roll like trash, so I'll do it. <laughs> Watch it be 12. That is nine in total. <laughs> oh my god. god. damn it. All right. We'll uh we'll we'll say uh we'll we'll make it just half, like uh six. 
six of the turkeys managed to scurry off into the into the uh, shadows and underbrush of the of the estate. Um, but six of them lie torched and uh, doesn't smell half bad. Wow, that smells pretty nice out here. I'm, I'm not, not gonna lie. Be, I'm gonna just stick my head inside and just um, I'm going to shout. I feel like we have like the sort of kind of like a um, telecom system. So it's, you shine into like this little like tube. It's like be careful of tiny burning turkeys in the household. They are. <laughs> They will kill you and will inject you with their children. <laughs> That's not even the weirdest thing she's ever said through the intercom. I know. <laughs> the best part. Okay, yeah. So Neil you guard, uh, have your weapons on you. Fire kills them. A calming chime. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Feel like the servants wear were... killer turkeys. <laughs> they will attack you and inject you with their offspring. <laughs> oh. Again. Beware killer turkeys. The number of the young god and keep your luck. weapons on you. The number of time off requests you must get around the holidays. <laughs> like every holiday, people are just like, I don't want to be there for, for Thanksgiving. You remember last year? <laughs> Mad. Oh my god. Technically, none of my, none of the people in, in, in my service has ever uh, like died. Maybe gotten hurt, but they never died. <laughs> Just putting that out there. A lot of death them are record, already dead. <laughs> yeah, death record zero, unless you count the ones that were already dead. The uh, and and so we quickly cut to a scene where there's like a big troll chef, and he's he's about he's about to like you know chop a, uh, the head off of a of a, a a goose that you know they were gonna make for the the holiday or whatever, and <laughs> look around, jump. Every holiday. Yeah. <laughs> um, we especially would like to apologize to Joe, the chef. Yeah. <laughs> you will be receiving a holiday <laughs> bonus. bonus. <laughs> <All right. laughs> um, so uh, at uh, at this point, um, what, uh, what do you do? I guess we have to find them if these killer turkeys are out there. I suppose if now they're going to inject everyone with their offsprings and we'll have a turkey apocalypse. Philly retrieves her head. Can't believe those words just come out of my mouth. Turk apocalypse. The Turkopolypse. Mm -hmm. Turkopolypse. I mean, it's not the weirdest thing we've done. It's pretty up there. Not going to lie, it's pretty up there. Like top three, easy. Yes. Except that one time in France with the geese, and uh, we're, we don't talk about that. Never again. Mm. <laughs> Never again. I learned my mistake, okay? I said I was sorry. <laughs> there was the whole flock of them. I don't understand why you thought that was a good idea. Just shrugs. Anyways, we should probably find these things before... Kill them. Wait, does anybody still have, like the the digits of uh what is it we had like a tree guardian neighbor you did would you be yeah, able to yes. like let him know hey there's some wild turkeys oh, yes. that might be infecting people or something i wonder if i can lure them with song i don't think trees can get boils you'd be surprised what trees can get they, they, they can actually <laughs> <laughs> okay well uh, belting darling could you please ring the neighbor yeah um it's a bit is running around so if you see her please tell Who? her she's oh uh the ghost child from the sanatorium she's moved in recently <sighs> why didn't you tell me and i thought you would see her apparently she's very good at hide and seek Anyways. i would have given her her own just just go <laughs> go and tell the neighbor Okay. Uh, you knock and you know the the door opens and it's nine foot tall with a like a, a deer skull, a stag skull, and horns and fire and whoa, Beltane. <clears throat> so there's some demon turkeys running around. If you see them, fire kills them. Don't let them touch you. They might try to nest in your yard. So if you find them, they're free game. Hmm. 
Hmm. And and again, there's no there's no eyeballs or flesh or anything. Uh, just you know, stag skull and fire, and uh, that's most disappointing. But um, these things happen. <laughs> and and yeah. he, he says, "Good luck with that." And he closes the door. See you, Herbert. As I go back. <laughs> Um, and as you as you leave, you see like it, it, once you like walk past, we from the real world just see hedges, you know, nice like neighborly hedges and a picket fence, and we, we see that the uh, if beyond the veil, the, the the like screen wipe of it is we see those hedges thorn turn into twisted thorns and get about eight feet tall and then where the doorway was there is it just sealed off in thorns and all the picket fences all go and turn into like splay like like spikes all the way around the yard um so uh so yeah herbert will probably be okay we would hope um all right so uh back to you guys in uh, at the yard uh, while that was happening. Cade, Philly, Willa? I <laughs> muted myself to unmute myself because apparently that's how that works <laughs> when I don't look at my buttons beforehand. Uh, Alright, so they scattered. We probably need to track them down. I don't know where they went. I... Do you think I could, like, Pied Piper these things? Like, if I went around playing a tune, that it would, like, draw them out, and then they'd all flock to me? It's you know... Bad idea. It's not. Worse, you know, less probable things have happened. If, I mean, we're hunting demon turkey. If they try and attack me, I'll just make sure to, like, pull off my arm and use it as a club, because it's not made of skin and nothing. It's made of bone. They wouldn't be able to, like... Put the kids in it or whatever it is that they're doing. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, I will back you up and. Solid plan. Well. Um, Beltane, give me a brains roll. <laughs> Maybe not solid plan. That's a super <laughs> solid plan. Like my mind took a lot of fiber <laughs> this morning. <laughs> uh, nine. Oh, okay. All right. Um, you seem to remember something about how how people in the you know probably uh, late eighteen hundreds, uh, seventeen eighteen hundreds, how they hunt turkeys here in America, and that they they actually use a turkey call, and so that. Kane could probably try to make a noise with an instrument that sounded like a turkey call. I'll just turn to Kane. I don't think an instrument will work here. I think you have to sound like a turkey instead. <laughs> yep. Like a turkey call. <laughs> Something like that, as Beltane's just smiling widely. Dear, that is uncanny. Oh, I thank you, darling. <laughs> All right. So, Kane, like, squats down a little bit and just starts, like, crouching forward, almost Scooby-Doo style, every, like, 20... Every, uh, maybe, like, 50 yards or so, just... <laughs> <laughs> like, just, like, looking around. He has his knives out. Like, he's ready to fucking, like, stab a bird if it gets close. <laughs> You know, Time roll. You know, Beltune, dear, I don't think this is the worst holiday I've ever had. In the distance, he's just like walking behind the scene, like looking around really paranoid, making turkey calls. <laughs> okay, so every few feet and got your knives out. Uh, give me a charm roll, please. All right. Uh, all right. So I think this would actually be a really good place to use my punchable face ability. Oh, no. Oh, oh good no. call. Yes, because I can give myself advantage on a charm roll, but the next charm roll I make against the same target has disadvantage 
If the GM would like, I would like for the target to just be the turkeys in general. So after mm-hmm. this roll against turkeys, I will have disadvantage because I'll be a little full of myself. I, yeah, all right. I swear to God, this is <laughs> this is just setting you up for disaster. Yeah, that's what I do. That's a twelve. <laughs> all right, all right. You uh, as you go along, and uh, yeah, sure, sure enough, uh, you know. One of these things leaps from the bushes at you, like claws out, like like I said, Velociraptor style, and it's like, like almost three times the size it was. Oh, what the hell? How'd you get so big? <laughs> so it, you know, it's like the size of a dog now, and it leaps out at you. Uh, if you're gonna, if you want to attack it, give me a brawn. If you want to dodge it, give me a, 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 a agility. I'll try and dodge it. Attacking is not my strong suit. The knife is for defense. Yep. Oh, boy. Kane, you fool. The closer it gets to Thanksgiving, all of the smaller turkeys get bought out. (laughs) There's only 20 pounders out there, Kane. 20 pounders! (laughs) Uh, I'm going to use a luck point to re-roll. Three luck points to re-roll. Three luck points to re-roll, then. (laughs) Uh, That seems... uh, That's half my luck, but that's okay. Uh, that is a 14 to dodge. Okay. All right. Yeah. You, uh, you wish you, you know, Kung Fu, that Turkey past you, the Velopsa Raptor Turkey. Um, and it, it turns and it's, you know, it's beaks got some serrates along it and it's, you know, got like janky weird feathers sticking out and it's thick necked compared to like a normal turkey like i said it's almost like a almost like a velopsa raptor but it's got the black feathers and the the big plumage in the back oh, and all kane is just yelling we need to get firearms someone call the army this thing is fucking <laughs> massive it's gonna kill us all oh my god <laughs> what do the rest of you do when I see this, may I just kind of like try to wrap shadows around it? Sure. Both him sipping a martini, watching all this. He would have done okay against the dragon. <laughs> Kane would have cried. <laughs> he would have, yeah, he would have cried and been rocking. All the, all the uh, bones of his arm just came apart and just rattled uh, on the floor like dice, like a bag of dice being dropped. <laughs> Oh, no. Mental Three. image of Kane getting so scared that all his bones <laughs> fall apart and he just runs away. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. Uh, that is uh, uh, five plus three is eight plus three is eleven. Sorry, I'm so tired and math. Yep. I don't know. Yeah, it, it, I'm, is dys- hard, man. I'm dyslexic, man. I yeah. I'm with you. Okay, so um, so yeah, the uh, this thing turns and it's serrated beak, you know, at, don't turn at that Kane, beak at and me. and then shadow leaps up and grabs it and pulls it to the ground and it's it's trying to push up and thrash sideways and and get away. Uh, Beltane, Philly, go for the neck. I'll I'll finish it off with my whip. Okay, I'm. Um, we're gonna say because it's held, you don't even need to roll. You just snap out your spine whip and you know to take its head clean off, and it dumps and falls. Just lays there. Uh, what is it just eating that thing? Kane nudges it with no. his boot. <laughs> you all right there, Kane? Um, you know, I thought that they were going to be a lot smaller. Just... Yes, that was quite a surprise. It's quite funny, but it was a surprise. Well, no, like, do they grow exponentially? Like, are we going to be dealing with, like, 12 of these things as big as a house? Or do they have, like, a natural uh... growth like a turkey does? Guess we'll find out. Also, why does it have teeth in its beak? This is a demon turkey. Keep serrated, up, dear. Ser- serrated edges along like the top of it. Um, Beltane and Lilith, you can both give me a brains roll. Philly will pick up the turkey corpse and open up one of her uh, morgue shelves, throw it down, just bring out an array of autopsy uh, instruments. Oh, nice. Nine. All right. Seven. 
All right. Um, so, uh, Beltane and Lilith, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll take those, those partials and pack them together and, and use them later. Um, so the, between the two of you, you kind of realize, wait a minute, things that are growing much faster than normal. They're weird, prehistoric. These things are probably related to uh, Groth, one of the prime mortals that you guys banished long ago. <sighs> Remember, they they had, they had appeared in the in the mountain, and you guys brought the mountain down on top of them. So this may be another portal into a primal uh, a realm that you're dealing with. Well, thank you. Hmm. Do you remember that primordial, primordial that we kind of brought a mountain down on? Groth. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, no. Exactly. Between the boils, the fast growth, and and the weird nature of these things, that's probably probably a good guess that that's what you're dealing with. They'll turn to Philly. So, the primordials have been acting up, I know. Again. We, again, <laughs> our people have a bit of a history with them, but overall, they've moved to the Americans, and it's fine for the most part. Bad news is, it's just to the turkey. They're very active. Hmm. Well, they did make a lot of work for me a few years ago. Yes. Yes. Well, you know, I guess we'll just have to deal with this. <sighs> I'll turn to Kane. And, and Philly We're dealing with primordials, Kane. Don't touch them. <laughs> and, and Philly meant that the, the primordials gave you a lot of work, not the turkeys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I figured it was yeah. the primordials. Yep, yep, okay. I, Just making uh, sure for the yep. audience that, you know. As, as things have gone on, I kind of feel like Philly is is basically like Clean the, uh, she, she's the morgue, honestly. She's, she's the, the magic, her, yeah. she's a magical morgue. Nice. Uh, okay. You, like, I, you know when you watch, like, crime shows, uh, there's always, like, a quirky, like, you know, morgue more mortician character mm -hmm. that's philly i didn't even realize that until just now <laughs> you're the csi agent but but you're yeah. six foot tall and you have a spine whip exactly um. she's freaking she's ducky from uh NCIS. She's ducky, yeah. yep <laughs> nice all right so uh <laughs> all right never mind i was gonna grab the sunglasses and, and, uh, <laughs> do the miami version nice in the okay. court, yeah 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 uh so where do you go from here? That's one down. Six to go or five to go? Well, I have a question. Uh, is she getting any more pings for supernatural deaths nearby? Uh, I uh, we didn't discuss whether or whether, not she can sense that. Whether she, yeah, I'm gonna say you haven't been called yet. Gotcha. Um, and I'm also going to caveat that that it is beings with um, higher intelligence mm -hmm. that, that you have. So like, you know, every squirrel, bird, mouse, insect right. that dies, you are not aware of. That, this is that a, makes more sense, yeah. This is a, it, you probably were brought into being by human beings and hence that's he, probably your realm. Humanoid I, deaths. I mm. kind of get the idea that like, I, I know we haven't, uh, we haven't established this beforehand, mm -hmm. But I feel like um, she only ever shows up for supernatural deaths. Like cool. she, she is here to like help preserve the veil. So like there are certain things that cannot be explained by like you know by yeah. by regular like, uh, morticians. Exactly. So like she's her her purpose is to get there before like a normal mortician does, and then you know that person just disappears. Yeah. Um. So. <laughs> I'm gonna add a slice of life here as as they turn and are talking to uh, 
to Philly. She's doing her autopsy. But the thing is, is that it <laughs> it basically looks like she's dressing this turkey. Yeah, it's like it's all all the feathers are off it. The guts are all pulled out. It's its head was snapped off with her whip, so it's headless already. So now it looks like this big turkey waiting she's, to go in the oven. She she's embalming it, so like she's rubbing chemicals in up under the skin and <laughs> yep. yep stuffing it with cotton. Of course, maybe you we should let Philly really make our turkey this year. I don't think uh, do humans eat embalming fluid now. I mean, of, of, when we look, we have cane. We have to cater to, and I would like a nice Thanksgiving. Oh, does he eat embalming fluid now? I mean, I don't really have to eat. It's usually just gold that sets me off right. I like the way the food tastes. That's why I do it. See, he's already half dead. It doesn't. Now, if you will excuse me. Oh, it just occurred to me. <laughs> all it, right. just, it just occurred to me that, like, Cain would be all over, like, this tendency to put gold flake on all, uh, on, on every food just to make it more expensive. Yeah. He probably yeah. started the, th the trend. <laughs> now I can have ice cream. So, no, somebody saw him doing it, and they were just like, oh, <laughs> what's that about? He's like, it's, uh... To show how wealthy I am. It's fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> Not because Look, this is the way that I can taste this. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> okay, did you hear about that new restaurant that opened that now they're doing 24 karat gold ice creams? What? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, now I'm working. <laughs> All right, so off into the underbrush uh, you go, um, searching for more of these. Um, Yeah, not, I mean, none of you really are hunters. Uh, Technically, I'm a hunter. Se. Yeah. Um, like, I could go beast and try to, like, sniff him out. Yeah, you could turn into your I can turn uh, into a black, black dog. dog, yeah. All right, all right. Remember so, when Mishka taught you, Lilith. So <laughs> It'll just be, like, a big, like, you know how Mishka's was a white wolf? Hers yeah. is a black wolf. All right. Gotcha. All right, so uh, you, you take form and start sniffing, and behind you, Kane is, you know, as as you go, and uh, uh, yeah, I guess uh, you give me a uh, hmm, I guess brains, brains will work, brains roll. Sure, you don't want this to be a charm roll. I'd have uh, not for you. No, not for you, right. Kane. It now you, you're still giving out the call, gotcha. but uh, she's um, she's sniffing. Okay. Uh, brains. Uh, Am I? Ro I'm rolling brains, right? Nope. No. Okay. Nope. Never mind. I'm sniffing. I'm I'm hunting as a wolf. I yeah. Really Lilith's well. turned because I'm wolf. hungry like the wolf. She turned yep, into right. an owl and she's going after yeah. the gobble. <laughs> Nine plus one ten. Ah, okay. And I was gonna let Kane. I was gonna let you go for the assist if she had failed, um, or if she hadn't got a full success. If she had gotten like the nine, I would have let you pile down. Okay. So, uh, yeah, the lift. You're like, you know, this way, and you know, your your instincts are leading you down this this path, and um, you see there are uh, small bits of you know, normal animals left behind. So this one that you've, you're tracking now has been like snapping the smaller animals either in half or like, like, you know, taking a chunk out of them and a bit flies off. Mm -hmm. And so they're eating, you know, at a ridiculous rate. Mm -hmm. um, also you too- You might say they're getting stuffed. Getting stuffed. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the, uh, um, not the only way to stuff it. No, damn it. <laughs> um, that so, wasn't me. I know it wasn't you. That was me. My bad. Okay, so you're on the trail. Um, you do realize that it is, uh, you know, like I said, you're finding like at first it's like the tail of a mouse. 
the you know just the head of a rabbit left behind kind of thing things that it can just eat it doesn't claw um but then you find uh like a sheep and the sheep has been bitten 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 and then shredded and then uh it moves on and you guys um you guys see the the boils starting to form on this sheep um i'm gonna cleanse it with fire beltane yep all right yeah you you see the boils sizzle and pop and and just burned away and because it's a sheep the wool is now on fire (laughs) you know it's like like a blaze going on um which you see that as you're going along uh that the lights come on at the house (laughs) because there's a feel of fire in their pasture uh do you guys use philly's coach and disappear or do you stay on the trail and and try to avoid uh detection that was try to avoid detection I'm okay. a big ass wolf. I got this. All right. Okay. Um. So. I just turn invisible and just keep walking. Okay. Then. Um. I guess. Kane. Give me an a uh, uh, basically a stealth roll with your agility. It's a modified ten. Uh, modify 10 okay yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh the, you hear you know a farmer shouting and and you know co- co- comes running but you guys are off into the darkness long before it gets there you know you hear a you hear a, a sheep dog barking in the background you know behind you but you the farmer keeps the dog at bay and uh so as you uh as you're moving down into the the underbrush and whatnot uh you believe you can hear one ahead of you you just hear like a low growl from <laughs> the wolf okay Point. Right. come so. on out wherever you are <laughs> gonna try okay, and, and gonna try and Kane, can out. you see in the dark no okay can any of you technically see in the dark um, and we'll see can. in the dark. I feel like vampires yeah. could, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to say with your your animaline eyes, you're fine. Beltane. I feel like Beltane should be able to. Mm. They have dark never vision. Yeah. It was okay. something we've never actually established with them. Yeah, if we, so if we go by fifth edition rules, literally everything but humans can see in the dark. Yeah, yeah ha- ha- humans, halflings, and uh, Dragon and dragonborn. Born. Yep. Yeah. Um, Earth Genasi. So Earth Genasi can't see in the dark, which is stupid because they literally live on uh, like in the Earth. <laughs> Some of them. Sorry, when you're in the plane of Earth and you're from, you know. Yep. Totes Sorry. makes sense. Um, they have tremor sense. Um, so, uh, hmm. Okay. Knights in the courtyard. Move on. Um, <laughs> what do you... Uh... I'm trying to charm this one out again. Oh, okay. But again, my charm awesome. will be a disadvantage now. Oh, uh, yes. My punchable yes, yes. face. Or in this Two case, sets. my face that is more than a ample Peckable place. face. Yeah, my your, peckable face. Your gobbleable face. Ooh, God. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Well, dang. Um, I don't think you I can this. roll better uh, than that. That's a moxie. No, oh, charm. Char- a f- All right. Five. Um, <laughs> so uh, this, uh, this thing must have like circled around and doubled back on you. And oh God, Lilith, you're the horse. Lilith is uh, <laughs> your... <laughs> Lilith, I was waiting you're... for that opportunity. <laughs> Lilith, you're you're sniffing along, and and the, from the brush right next to you guys, this thing leaps out and claws the hell out of Kane. Kane, give me a um. Do you do you only have d sixes out? Yeah. All, All right. right. Actually, just, I have my whole set. What do you want me to roll? Okay. Uh, give me a d ten for the attack of this thing. Three. It's, okay. So it's basically two claws and a bite. 
on you. Um, uh, give me a fortitude roll. Oh, geez. Uh-oh. A nine. Okay. Um, so, uh, a nine, you are, you manage, because of your lich-like nature, your, your flesh is, is where they got you. The flesh part is starting to turn to boils, ah. but it's only because that you still have flesh. Uh, if it had got your bones or, you know, the, your, your more lichy parts, then uh, it wouldn't have, have gotten you that bad. And it was just a, you know, just barely some scratches and you can already see that the, the, the skin is bubbling. Um, what do the rest of you do? Kane just got total velociraptor by this thing. It's on top of him, and, and, you know, he's managed to not, like, get his face pecked in half, but, uh... Want to save my boyfriend from this terrible bird? <laughs> oh, no, boyfriend! No! <laughs> All right, go ahead. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and start with Philly for dramatic effect. Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna whip out with my, uh, bone whip. Spine whip. Uh, okay. Please don't miss. <laughs> uh, that's a nine. All right. Um, yeah, you managed. You managed to hit it, but uh, because it was a partial, mm -hmm. it. Um, I just want to whip it off of him. Just like yeah. Ah. I, I'm gonna say uh, because of that I'll give you the choice. Uh, does it does it claw him mm -hmm. or does it leap at you and claw you? It leaps at me. All right. It leaps at you and claws you. Uh, roll me a d6. <laughs> uh, suffer me. Uh, five. Okay. Uh, you, so you take five points of damage. I would and, be um, and technically you're an undead, right? Do you have any flesh at all? I got flesh. She got just flesh. dead flesh. She okay. got flesh. All right. <laughs> and it's the then it's the same, it's the same situation where the boils are forming. Mm -hmm. Your skin is bubbling, uh -huh. um, and you don't know what's gonna happen with that, but uh, it is happening. Lilith right. Beltane. Um, I'm gonna go over to Kane and say it's going to hurt, my friend. As I just place a hand to the boil and pretty much uh, cauterize it. Flame on. Burning hands. <laughs> <laughs> Flame on, Beltane Storm. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. I'm sorry. Just um, hold him. Just pat his back. It's okay. It's okay. I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just say that um, I, I'm going to let that work. We won't even roll for it or anything. Um, but let's. Uh, Let's go ahead and yeah, D3, roll a D6 and divide by two damage for it. Three. All right. Okay. So uh, three, uh, three more points of now fire damage. And you got, you got some burnt clothes issues going on. I'll buy you a new coat and vest. I'm sorry. Just fix them up and give him a small pile of gold. <laughs> sorry. No, Kane is Kane's gonna hold on to the to the gold for a different point in time. Right now, his girlfriend is currently being attacked by a turkey. Thought May something else need like there are bigger <laughs> problems at the moment. May and I like yep. and like wolf form do that thing where it's like the wolf like jumps forward like grabs it with his uh maw and like lands on the other side. Yeah, and, so you you gonna try to like snap it by the neck and yeah. just like go. All right, yeah. give me a, give me a brawn roll. Uh, I'm only I'm good at two things: being charming and being strong. Something's <laughs> gotta happen. 
Uh, seven. Uh, plus three. Ten. Yay. Ten. All right. So you you snap this one. You wolf shake it around like a like a chew toy, and it just for, <laughs> yeah. For good measure, she like throws it against like the the tree, like the spine <laughs> against the tree trunk. All right. Yeah. And you you warble its neck like a like a chew toy and huck it, and the, the bones crush in, and it falls to the ground. Um. Uh. Yeah, uh, one more down. Um, I'll go over to Philly and say, may I? Yep, she uh, graciously accepts and just takes it like a champ, no reaction. Okay. Well. Uh, D, uh, D3? Uh, two. Okay. Okay. Um, at that point, that's when Philly's uh, death meter goes off and there's uh, it, it basically is like one, two, three, Ooh. four, Ooh. five. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so like Philly's getting her wound cauterized, just not reacting. Uh, and then she suddenly jerks uh, and steps away. It looks like she's probably reacting to the pain, but uh, she summons her steed and she's like, we need to ride now. Okay. Uh, you guys jump on the coach. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Lois um, still in wolf form and belting just here in his mind. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um uh so um hmm. You were in wolf form, but you are a vampire. Hmm. Nope. No problems. And you you succeeded on your attack, right? Uh, yes, I got eight. Yeah, you, you managed to not, you know, get retain any of the corrupted blood or whatever. No. She, of this it, probably what you saw after is just like a wolf with like a dripping maw of blood because she was letting the saliva just like mm. drip and run out. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Dog wise, <laughs> shake your head and the goop flies. Yeah. All right. Um, so. <sighs> You ride into the mist and you appear. There's a, a small home uh, and the, you know, obvious, uh, the lights are on. What do you do? This is where people died? As far as Philly knows, yep. Yep, she hops down uh, from her uh, carriage uh, with a heavy thud. Uh, she's got these big, heavy boots, uh, and she will walk up to the home and thaumaturgy just poof, open the doors. The curtains blow, even though the windows are closed. Uh, and uh, you enter the home, and you see that uh, there's uh, basically at the back door, there's a dog door. And... Mm. Uh, yeah, and in just inside the dog door, there's a dead the the dead uh, dog, family dog, and then you can see where the the people had fled, mm -hmm. had run away from their you know their dinner you know the the table was all set and you know cranberries and stuffing and whatnot and uh, but then you see as they ran they died and mm -hmm. the the father is the last one like basically he got to the closet got out a shotgun and then died <laughs> before he could do anything with it um they're all clawed they're all all boils all right lighter Please. food was invented yeah. in 1823 uh she's gonna walk in like grab some lighter fluid off of the grill and just like start pouring it on all of the family members uh and then like thaumaturgy yeah. yeah, Lilith is like next to Beltane now. I I assume like her clothes don't change with her, but she's wearing shadows like a dress now, and she's like, it's such a shame that this family died in a house fire. Shame. <laughs> it yep. brings back very fond memories, I will say. Hmm. Then right. lost their head. Um. So from here, the turkey's not here in the house. Gotta go hunt for it. I know the perfect way to do so. Okay. 
<laughs> Back you outside. You need to turn into a wolf again. Oh yeah, no. Like Kane is like if he saw inside the house and saw that there was a doggy door, I'm assuming it was one of those like you see it like flapping, like something mm-hmm. just left through it. Just son of a bitch. All right, <laughs> okay. goes around the house and then he's just like out in the uh. back while they're setting fire to a building in the background. Like pity the family died in such a tragic house fire. And Kane's out again <laughs> in the foreground making turkey noises, like going through the brush. And and you can see where it just it just went through the picket fence. It just like it wasn't there. Uh, like like it blew blew through the picket fence and it's it's on to the like you know heading through the neighborhood uh it's chasing after it just give me the charm roll as we're seeking out these turkeys we're all like oh you'd think that they'd be full by now it's like they don't want to be fed they want to hunt mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly they want to kill <laughs> Uh, my favorite from those movies is always the Jeff Goldblum when they first see the herbivores. <gasps> Ooh, ah. And he goes, oh, yeah. Ooh, ah, now. But later they'll be running and screaming. You know, <laughs> that, that's always my favorite from those movies. Anyway, 11. So, 11. All right. You, you, you know, suddenly you hear, <laughs> it calls back to you. They call to me. And he's just gonna like keep making it like motion. And it, for it, people. Keep, it keeps responding. I feel like this are layered like turkey noises, like it's like that demon <laughs> layered voice. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Um the thing is too is again, you can tell that by the time it went back out the doggy door, it it, it was, was already larger. squeezing, <laughs> squeezing oh. its way through. And it blew through the picket fence, so it wasn't dog sized anymore. Gobble, gobble, um, gobble. Like yeah, super exactly. gobble, gobble. Oh, gobble, gobble. Gobble, um, gobble, bitch. I'll prep my uh, shotgun and just say, you know, I think my brother is Wait, enjoying all of this. <laughs> Where'd you get a shotgun? From the dad. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. I just missed that somehow. <laughs> no, he just, he has a sort of shotgun in his jacket. He does, though, because he gave one to Harker when she was fighting the werewolf. <laughs> right, I remember that. I, yeah. I, I'm i concerned going after these turkeys. You saw that video I posted, right? It, it, yeah. There was a there was a vine back in the day where uh, the guy goes, gobble, gobble, and then, like, all of the turkeys behind him, like, respond in a chorus. I feel like that's going to happen to Kane at some point. <laughs> It's just gonna be like twenty of them. Um, <laughs> all right. Um. So, uh, boom, boom, boom. Following back. Yeah, it's responding. You're, you're, you're starting to, to head towards each other. Um. Now we, as the audience, get this quick flashback to looking inside the cave. Where it was just seemed to be like a plane of nothing but these turkeys clawing, festing, infesting, and and eating one another. And so we as the audience know that this is not like, oh hi friend, oh hi friend. This is I'm coming to fucking eat you. <laughs> and and I'm here to kill you. So it's 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 a it's a challenge call kind of thing. <laughs> like 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 two male turkeys facing off to uh uh, to prove dominance that basically that's turkey for meet me behind the wendy's if you want a mass kicking <laughs> that's right <laughs> Kane doesn't know that though <laughs> no that's the best part like ooh, i'm sneaking up on him um all right uh okay uh you know let's let's go ahead and um Let's all just make an agility roll, and we'll kind of use it as an initiative to see which one of you uh, acts first or sees the turkey first kind of thing. 13. Okay. 11. Okay. I need my luck had to run out at some point. All right. Okay. And those don't count as fails or anything. They're just... uh, So, uh, Kane, you're, uh, you're first up. Your your turkey challenger is coming. Uh, I am going to throw some knives at it. All right, and it looks basically uh, uh was it Jurassic World with uh, 
oh, what's his name? When the Velops is coming at him, that's sort of what we got. But it's uh, where he, where he like stares him down and he's training the Velopses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's so that's Pratt keeping. Pratt keeping, yes. So yeah, that's uh, that's what we get is this this turkey the size of a Velociraptor is coming at you. Well, that's, that's a real big one. This is fine. I'm gonna throw some knives at it. I assume that would be an agility. Yes, sir. Throw knives. That's a thirteen to throw knives. Wrong kind of knife. Um, no, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, better. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. I. I. I don't even need damage from you. It. It basically. They're not hard to kill. They just produce very quickly so yeah you huck knives into it with a, that 13 and that's just enough you know whack whack thunk it, they it, it slides and falls at your feet and just kind of skids to a, a halt at your at your toes he'll take a quick like jump back from it just in case let it sit for a little bit and then put, like detach his arm uses it as a stick to poke this thing <laughs> All right, it is dead. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to take my knives back. So again, yeah. like, extending my other arm down so that way that arm can grab them. You yeah. know, I should take you stalking, Kane. You're a remarkable huntsman. And speaking of being a huntsman, um, go ahead and... I, I'm i going to say, uh, not Kane. Uh, but one of the other three of you give me a brains roll and one of you can help out if need be after they roll. I get a two in brains. A guy only, I have a one, so. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Twelve. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so you, you don't need an assistance at this, but you start to think about where you know philly said that you know she was at and and you kind of trace it back and then you basically you ask philly so where were you before the first attack is basically how how it comes to your brain mm -hmm. like Something must have happened before that because she went and she did, she went to do her work first, didn't have this, and then imme almost immediately after, it happened again. So, okay. so I mean, what's worse? Um, the reason that we're, the, the, the ones that we're dealing with right now are the ones that she brought back with her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the ones that started this have been going at it without any recourse. Yep. So where was your first pickup tonight, Philly? Oh, it was in a cave. It wouldn't happen to be in a cave near a mountain over the lake, would it? Would it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yes, actually. You see, that's the mountain we brought down on the primordial, and that's... Should we get my brother this time? I can just get explosives. And as uh, as Beltane says that, we we swing over and we see, now we kind of focus in on those cave drawings, and and we see it actually is like these turkey dinosaur looking things. I swear and, to God, they're all hand turkeys. <laughs> and one, and, that is perfect. Okay, so it's cave drawing hand turkeys with like with like fang beaks and and big sharp claws and and Terrible. as big as as big as people kind of thing. And there's there's one, and then there's like a person's dead and then there's like three and then there's a couple people dead and then there's like a dozen 
at that kind of cascading drawing, you know, on the wall. Until there's uh, just like one wall that's covered in nothing but handprints. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So, uh, yeah, there's this thing, a bum, bum, the turkey terror handprint wall. Um, oh my God. And maybe like, maybe like after the turkey handprint wall, there's just like, like a smear, like, like where someone went down. Because <laughs> he got eaten by the turkeys. By the turkeys. <laughs> no! It's just flashes of blood and uh -huh. just the dragon hand. Yep. Oh my God. Guys, this is genius. We need to write a module. <laughs> <laughs> So, so yeah so there you've got that's you know we see that as the audience as as you the first the cave you were in um and with that ominous cave drawing the going down with the smeared paint that's where we should take our break yeah so we are going to try and be back in five to ten minutes so don't go no place and listen to grab a food grab a drink grab a friend or possibly go to indooradventure.redbubble.com Pick yourself up something nice, and we'll see you guys shortly. All right, everybody. See you soon. <laughs> yeah. And we're back. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Monster Noir. We're in a cave. There are hand drawings of turkeys, some of which are made from blood, and some of those handprints in blood are currently, like, scrawled down the side of the wall. So, you know, spooky Thanksgiving. And, and, and as we come back in on that, that, scene we we finish with the 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 hands and then we the camera swings and we see our merry band kind of going uh, you know <laughs> having realized what the cave drawings are um themselves uh <laughs> let's let's go ahead and just pick up right there you guys are looking at this cave drawing yeah and philly's like looking at the cave drawings and being all like you know looking at it with actual eyes this seems a lot more obvious in retrospect <laughs> kane is squinting but it is dark he's oh, having a he's... difficult time but he's not gonna say anything <laughs> he'll need glasses later on bless all right um Yeah, the primordials were like as as just a little older than the Fey. I'm gonna go ahead and roll a Moxie roll, Beltane. Okay, 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 okay. Um, yeah, that's a eight. Sorry, I had to double check my math. Okay. Do you uh do you want to um? Uh, add two points to it from your luck pool to make it a ten, or can I can I have the little the little snippet of of uh, of You can choice? have it because okay. I had a okay. reroll earlier and I don't want to you know. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you can feel the the presence of the the primordial. Uh, I'm just gonna say the portal breakthrough. The energy. There's there's a big primordial energy uh, uh, permeating this cave. Do you say anything about it? Do you tell them? Do you, I mean, what what do you do with that knowledge, I guess? I just kind of pull my stomach and say, it's like when I first emerged into this plane of existence. It's gross and sticky. Primordial stuff. Uh, like when Hazel was here. Yes, I remember. She just has a very solemn face. Yep. And and you know, as 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 fans of the show, we all feel that that that, that moment of remorse that that Lilith is shielded from. Okay. What do you do? Let's just find where these things came from and shut it. I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Let's just collapse the cave and leave. This is. <laughs> but what if I don't want like... to deal? With... What if there are like multiple exits, entrances though? What if this isn't the only one? Then we're just like not really doing anything. It would be best for us to find the exact source and then collapse it there. This is not the exact source point to the giant ass portal. 
They, they, you actually don't see a portal. Oh, okay. you're, you're in a cave, and obviously the drawings were here, but there's there's further They're to deeper. go. Okay. Then, I guess we could examine these deeper, if need be. And as you uh, you move through the cave system, yeah, uh, you, I would. We're just gonna jump to we. You get there. You get through the caves, and you see this this hole basically, and you know Beltane the 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 source of the energy has gotten stronger and stronger as you've moved along this vector, uh, this passageway, um, and uh, yeah, it's basically a hole, but I mean it it radiates it, it's an energy um and it's you know it's only about yay big hmm. all right um how do we want to handle this just collapse it blow it up i assume we should blow up the bleeding cave because if we blow up that cave where it came in, that wall where it came in, it's just going to make the entrance even bigger. We should probably put as much earth between those things in the world as possible. Does it go through though? Like if you, we throw like Kane picks up a rock and throws it at the portal. Okay. And Kane, when you, when you get close enough to throw, you look in um, give me a moxie roll. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Hey, guess what? I'm not good at moxie. I got another <laughs> yeah. fail, because the number's a four. <laughs> guess uh. who just got possessed by a primordial? <laughs> All right, so, Kane, as you go to huck this rock, like, you know <laughs> i wonder if things can go through it because if we Dude, collapse like, the cave and it just like sucks up all the cave stuff then there's no point really so let's I, just see if it it's like a simpsons <laughs> halloween episode you you go to you go to huck the rock in and you you bend just enough to look through it and um roll uh gosh roll 3d6 uh oh god what is it for sanity damage <laughs> all right uh what happens if your sanity goes to zero or past all zero right. so this is what you see we we get this view of kane like <laughs> i wonder what happens when you huck a and you, you go to throw that you throw the stone through and as the stone goes tumbling through this this like blinding greenish glow kind of kind of comes out we kind of follow the stone through but we also then are now seeing Kane's eyes and and it it's transcending the time of your of your uh, hourglass and it's tra transcending time itself and we see in, and it's the a plane, a, a literal plane of like nothing. It's like, um, not. It, it's like lichen, like anything that was alive here has been has been devoured, and all that's left is this lichenous growth <laughs> that is that is covering everything. And it's just nothing but bodies of these horrible birds. And, and, and we see probably thousands of these birds. And it's just like I said, the, the, the boils are popping, the little ones are coming out and they're scurrying away and the bigger ones are snatching them and eating them whole and then clawing at each other and more and more and more of these, these, these bubbling things are going on. And as you're as you're like being drawn in and across this this reality of of this ever reproducing, dying, festering plane, you come across and you see these gigantic. And when I say gigantic, I mean like battleship size hobnail boots. 
you you come across them and they're just they're made they're shod of iron and they're like not the size of battleships but more like the size of uh frigates or cruisers and they're they're just iron and they're this this molten bronzy like cooling metal iron and and you f we follow it up and it, it turns into these these greaves and these molten solid things and it just keeps moving up and the further up it goes it becomes um a red flesh and and it's just an absolutely muscular body and it rises you know beyond the chest and it the it, by the waist there's like you know like a wrestler's belt kind of thing but not gaudy just like like you know probably you know 10 foot thick wrought iron belt and then it moves up this this massively muscular chest and as it goes to get to the face the face is like beautiful but then you see its eyes and and Kane you absolutely you 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 have zero sanity right uh i technically have negative two sanity <laughs> okay all right Wait, and kane when, sanity. as you begin to see this beautiful visage you get to the eyes and and you, you guys will get to kane later and i'll uh -huh. oh, no. we'll probably have to talk some oh, offline about yeah, this sure. <laughs> and uh kane just he, 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 he roars he roars like not in it not this isn't a pain of a scream of pain this is an absolute scream of rage and anger and um yeah as cain begins to begins this 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 bellow what do you guys do you know he just went to he hucked a stone in the thing and now he's like flipping ah! out Mm -hmm. Philly would like to yank him away from the hole. All right, chain or or bodily? Like bodily. Okay. All right. Uh, just, she ah! she like basically just grabs him and then pulls him in and like holds him like this and just okay. like stuffs his face into her chest. Okay. Uh, give me a brawn roll. <laughs> I was about to say boobs, but. <laughs> Yeah, she stuffs him in the room. <laughs> all right, um, all right. Hey, boobs help with everything. It's um, true. This is, she's done this before. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, that is a nine. All right. Um, Kane, give me a brawn roll at plus three. Don't add your bonus. Add a plus three to it. Nine. All right. This always calms him down normally. Yeah, no. Kadoom. He doesn't move. Oh, you guys shit. are both like <clears throat> you're stuck. You're like, <laughs> what the hell? It's like like gravity itself has something's wrong. He is way stronger than he was. All right. Uh, uh Beltane, Lilith. We're going to have to cave this in. Nobody look into the portal. We will Bring Kane out forcefully. I'll just Charlie. add all the dynamite to yeah. Bella. Here's my lighter, the dynamite right. You, you good. You know the tricks? Yes, I... Uh, all right. I'm quicker. Just go ahead and shoot yeah. with Kane. I'll offer my hand to Philly and Kane. I can get you out right now. Ah! Kate, she's just Kate. like trying to pull him away. Yeah. Kate, like, and she's uh, a really big person too. So yeah. like she she's probably like trying to pull him and like the rock is just bending underneath her. He is and, also not a very tall person. <laughs> um uh, Try knocking him out. Kane, go ahead and uh make a brawn roll at plus three versus Philly. Twelve. Okay. Uh, eleven. Okay. What is your uh, uh actually, Kane? What is your damage uh, when you're attacking? I usually use agility. Okay. Um, so uh, d6 plus your agility. Okay. <laughs> no, plus plus your agility bonus. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 
Uh, that is a total of five. All right. So yeah, he he whips or you're pulling on him, and and Beltane's like, "Take my hands," and you just you lash out at at uh, Philly and and get her with one of your knives for five points. So take the physical damage. Um, Beltane, Kane is not going to take your hand. You have seen this kind of madness before. Mm -hmm. He'll just curse in a language that Philly might recognize before he just grabs Kane and he pulls back and then bamps out of the cave. All right. Okay. Uh, You guys bamf away. um, And you're just bamfing short distance out of the cave? Uh, Yeah, just out of the cave, like. Once we, if we okay. have to periodically, like, I'll yeah. jump it. Okay, if, all right. If you take well, Kane with you, or are you taking everybody else with you? I'll just take Kane, because with the short one, it's only one person, but with the long one, it's multiple people. Yeah. Okay, can Philly have been holding on to his skeleton hand and take it with her? Yeah, just I, like it I'll pops say, off yeah. as he flies away. Okay, sounds great. Yeah. That that's that's beautiful. Okay, yeah, he comes away and um, uh, yeah, uh. And so, Banff, we'll get back to that. Philly, you're standing there with the <laughs> with the, his arm. Lilith, you're avoiding the gaze of the, yeah, of I'm not, the I'm not looking. portal and setting the dynamite. Give me a brains roll to try to not blow yourself the kingdom come. You and Philly. Yeah. I, I, will, I will tell Philly, I'm like, please leave before I like this. <laughs> All right, uh, she gives you just kind of like a doe-eyed sad look, which is like um, strange to see on such a big, strong person. Uh, and she gets up and runs away. Um, we'll, f- we'll fix, the last thing is like Lil says to her before she runs like, we'll fix this. She has four hit points left. <laughs> mm. Okay. All right, Lilith, brains roll. 11 plus one. All wow. right, all right, okay. So uh, you set the you set the dynamite and uh, you, uh, you you super speed your yourself yeah. out of there. Yeah, I I will I will use my uh, now you see me ability, which is okay. my quickness, and it burns one HP. So I'll do that. Yep. You uh, use a little blood power and do yes. the vampire like. Um, and uh, yeah, the boom, 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 multiple echoings of, of underground dynamite and the tremor in the earth rolls and, and you, hear, you hear collapsing stone and, and you know, the gout of uh, detritus and, and, and dust comes blowing out. Um, Beltane, you get out and you're holding on to Cain. Uh, are you going to do anything? You're going to try to restrain him? No, I could just kind of push him back and speak in a, the primordial language before I have okay. to come fay. All right. Say, you can't exist in this form. Okay. And uh, Kane, you you understand this, this language, um, but you... <laughs> Your response is almost not your own. It is basically, uh, Cain says, uh, how would Cain say it? Um, What's the premise? Well, yeah, okay, I I will tell you. Basically, you know that that thing you saw is like the avatar of the primordial known as Raka. And uh, and it, it R A K K A, uh, the primordial known as Raka, and it is it is basically the personification of the deadly sins of like of pride, anger, uh, jealousy, vengeance, all the all the the wrath. It is the personification of all that is. Uh, destruction not corruption not death but the actual act of destroying and i'm mad about this 
you are you are basically you you are basically kind of like a corn berserker at this point it is blood for the blood god skulls for the skull throne gotcha um Um, basically you have seen the beauty and majesty of destroying and so uh yeah that's what you're you're ready to do you're ready to reap and sow oh man if that is the case um I feel like Kane would like pull out a knife. He'd try and stab Beltane. Like if he's fucking mm-hmm. if he's knucking futz right now, like of yep. course he's gonna try and stab Beltane. Sounds uh, great. And the entire time he is uh saying shit like I saw it. I saw the center of all the. It was right there. It was right there. It was like it's just like, like this dude is fucking like. He sounds just nodding rock. along. He's just like, yeah, I know. All right, know. so go for the go for the agility roll. All right. Um. Well, Kane is uh he's a madman right now, so I'm gonna use the last of my remaining luck points to get in on this. All right. Uh, that's an 11 to hit with an agility. Okay, then roll that d6 plus your agility, uh, mod. Uh, that's a total of nine. All right. Uh, Beltane, slash, he, 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 he <laughs> digs, digs into you with a knife for nine physical damage. He looks out at the blood and is like, all right, as... The blood kind of forms into a red crown, and he just grabs Kane. Let's go for a trip, and they both disappear. Okay. Oh no! <laughs> All right. Uh, at this, uh, this is the scene. Uh, you know, uh, Philly, you you come running out. Lilith is like catching you as you're as you're exiting, and the 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 thunderous rumbles of the explosion and collapse of the cave are coming behind you and as you you come out you see that (laughs) Kane has plunged one of his daggers in into Beltane and Beltane this red crown forms above Beltane and is like uh what did you say let's go yeah he's going to go to an active volcano because he's a primordial source of fire So you uh, you you bamf out, and that's that's what they see. Mm-hmm. Um, By the way, uh, Beltane's insane for the next four hours. Uh, oh no! Okay. I'm <laughs> insane, Ben. Both of you. This is the one, to, the one side able- adventure that Beltane and Kane have ever had, <laughs> and it results in both of them going <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Going to a insanity. I'm that. so All right. upset. We'll 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 catch to that scene because I I want to see um, before we go there. I want to see the 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 looks and the 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 feels of of the two of you coming out onto this scene of stab, blood crown, bamf, you know, gone. What 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 do we see? Um, so it's like they're they're running out of the cave. There's explosions going on behind her. Uh, Lilith uh, comes up behind her, and uh, Philly will summon her steed, just the horse, uh, and swing Lilith up onto the horse with her. Um, and they're riding, riding, riding as fast as they can towards Kane and Belle, and then the two of them disappear. Uh, and then they pull up. The horse rears, um, and there is like there's a slow like movement of the camera up uh philly's body um and like she's just got kind of like a sad hurt look on her face uh and then she turns around she looks at lilith and that look turns to anger lilith did did you let her in on to the or did you accept her uh her uh riding the horse her help up and okay yep okay i would also like to say Kane's sure. arm, because he was crazy, was acting all like absolutely bonkers. But now <laughs> that Beltane has teleported them so far away, it's just a limp arm. Okay, all right. Now, now is 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 Philly angry at, at, at Lilith at the situation? What, oh, what she, are they? 
she's angry at the situation. Okay. Um, and she just turns around, she looks at Lilith and she says, where did your manservant take my boyfriend? <laughs> so so I, I, I have to know for visual, does her head spin all the way around? Yes, to, of course to, it to does. say this, okay. it has to. It, like it, it's a slow spin of mm-hmm. like disbelief. Yeah, and as we see the face come through, the anger shows. You know, and that's you know, where did your I don't know it? where did your boyfriend take my fae? <laughs> Listen, this is not. This is Philomena. I have been in many situations. Unfortunately similar unfortunately similar to this. Do not be angry at me. We need to figure this out. You are hurt. You're about to die. Like actually die. Like another you is going to come for you. <laughs> She's just looking at you like her her dress is all ripped in like vital areas and she's like, I'm fine. Darling, you're <laughs> bleeding on your horse. Wipes blood away. <sighs> we just, you just, I know, because uh, Belty and Lilith have like uh, had like some sort of telepathic connection at points. Belty, would you say, would you say that it still connects? Yes, that was one of the caveats for one of these uh, steps. Where are you? You hear a very deep, rumbly voice that says. Russia. Just opens up the line. There's a sound of a raging fire. Mm. <laughs> one, one second. Uh, and she will, she will use her very, um, even though they don't have a contract yet uh, all, anymore. Mesars. Where in Russia? There's a pause. <sighs> Avatsky, it's on the coast. Right. Near Japan. So that's in that's in a mind, you know, a connection that, that's beyond like time and space. And yeah. and as we as as that occurs, we go back into the scene of, you know, the two lunatics <laughs> raging out uh so go ahead and uh give me set a scene for me here uh what what did you uh where did you take your yourselves and and kane i'm assuming for story plot line you're going yes yes and you want to oh, see yeah. where this goes you didn't try to resist or no, not okay. at all all right I, cool gb you know me Let's, i know i know let's write this out homie this, let's see yep, where yep, it goes yep. I, I just trying to give people consent and agency and, oh, and, yeah. and all the all the good game I stuff. So that. okay, all right. So uh, Beltane, what do we see with you? You boom appear. So I had to Google active volcanoes in the 1920s, and that was one that popped up. It's an actual place in Russia, um, but uh, Beltane has taken Kane to this active volcano in Russia on the coast, facing the Pacific Ocean. And he's saying in primordial, appealing to the creature that's in him and saying, this is your destruction, exists within this. So he's trying to convince this uh, creature to pull itself out and have its destruction and cake. Um. Hmm. What you're saying is that he's, he's offering a volcano for the primordial to inhabit and cause to erupt. Yeah, that's basically what he's doing. It's I, the most simple solution he could. I come swear up. to God, I thought you were trying to throw a virgin into a volcano here. <laughs> <laughs> no, he, the Beltane has. She's a busy a lot. Okay. <laughs> um. So, uh, Beltane, uh, I'm gonna say let's let's go with a charm roll. Okay. 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 Um, this is my charm. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Fourteen. Okay. 
Um, you you basically get acquiescence. You you feel that that the primordial is is agreeable to this. Cain, it's actually you. You are like, yeah, I'll become part of the volcano. I'll be so much more powerful. The Rocket is not possessing you at this no, point. This is me, you, baby. <laughs> this is is you being crazed. So I need you to give me a, a brawn roll. Uh and uh yeah. Uh with a plus three? Yes. Nine. All right. Beltane, uh, if you would also give me a brawn roll, that'd be fantastic. Ten. All right. You uh you realize that I mean basically Kane, I don't know how you, you, you start to break free like Yes, I'll take it. Um, and you tr start to break free and like fall back into the volcano, like woohoo! I'm gonna be a volcano, you know, kind of. Mad the the greatest a percussion <laughs> instrument you've ever heard. <laughs> exactly. So you start to break free, and and we see Kane falling back, and Beltane. At that last second, you realize that oh my god, it's it's not leaving. It's it's. King going to fall into a volcano and so you like you like like snatch him at the last you know like by the lapel kind of thing and <laughs> and, and pull him back up Kane, what do you do you need to become a volcano man i do and i know exactly how i'm going to do it right. so i'm being held up by my shirt yeah kane's got knives man i'm literally like he just cuts the shirt all right Okay. Just so uh, that way he can fall into the volcano. Like he's just letting himself okay. free from this. All right. We're going to hold right there. <laughs> back, back at the collapsing uh, uh, caves. What do you do, Lilith? I've been to do? Russia, darling. Many times. Scott, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. Avachinsky, the active volcano, dear. Um, She removes her head and it begins to flame uh she holds it over her head like a banner uh mm -hmm. and she rears up her horse and the two of them travel through the mists to where they need to go nice all right uh and again the this this <laughs> whirling mist appears and <laughs> flaming head comes flying through cane slices his own shirt in wicked madness like haha you can't stop me and, and is starting to fall into said volcano uh for i guess for for uh story continuity and 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 add i want to see first philly mm -hmm. what is your reaction what do you do uh, my plan is to fucking just, like, bamf in, yank him out of the air like Ichabod Crane, and then bamf back out into the mists and drop him somewhere he's not gonna hurt himself. Okay. Like, uh, Siberia. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, Lilith, you are about to be thrown from said magic steed. What do you, uh, what do you do? You can tell that, that this is gonna be a, a maneuver that you are uh, you're how do you leave the horse is basically oh, I guess. she she basically like uh disperses in a flock of bats and then reappears next to Beltane. okay all right uh yeah so woof, you you whirl into bats and and heading towards Beltane. Beltane, you 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 reach out with your other hand but it's it's too late to grab uh to grab him uh gravity is against you if you teleport out there there will be nowhere to teleport to like kind of thing you know what i mean there's you would have to like teleport back to land and catch him uh kind of thing so uh 
and and with the blood crown and and madness going on you're like well good maybe i don't know i can't i can't speak for you but you at this point are are like um i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of take you out of the scene like either are you letting him go or are you yeah, I guess where is Beltane's feels at this? I don't want you to intercede magically, but what are you feeling towards Kane right now? Because you've got the blood crown going on. It's more of, that was mine. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Uh, because it's so important... Philly, give me a moxie roll. Okay. Oh, shoot. That's not how you do a moxie roll. I just closed my sheet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can do this. Here we go. Ah! Uh, so how do luck points work? We can, you, can, we can... you can spend three to, to re-roll completely. Mm-hmm. Or you can add one for one, mm -hmm. up to three to, to change your roll. Okay, I'm going to use both my luck points to add to this roll, which okay. uh, would be a six. Uh, actually, I, I only need one to bring it up to a seven, right? And that's a yep. success. Yep. All right, I'm going to use partial. a luck point for this. Seven one. is partial. I an eight still a partial. So yep. and I so, only have yeah. two luck points. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so. Uh, you, you know, <laughs> and you, you appear on no, on nowhere, on no ground, which is, is against horse physics, even in the ghost realm. And, <laughs> and the horse begins to fall, but Kane is in front of you or behind you on the animal? Uh, I want to say behind. Okay. Like she All just right. like, she, she grabs him and slings him across the back of the horse. Okay. And then Kane, as you were like one armed and like, you know, what are you doing? How are you snatching me from my power? I'm about to become the, the look, I'm about to come become the personification of rage and destruction. And poof, you disappear and uh, you reappear in Siberia. Um, <laughs> and, um, uh, no! uh, yes, exactly, exactly. So, uh, what do you do with this, 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 this stupid phantom that that dares? Take Why away would your you power? do that? I was gonna be so. I was gonna be like a kick drum heard round the world, and you got in the way. Why? <laughs> And he's just like, why? Why would you? Why would you do this? And he's just like approaching you with his knife out because he's still a very stabby boy. Uh, I think that she like just turn. She turns around. She's still holding her head. It's still in flames. The eyes are glowing. Uh, she just gives you a hard look uh, that has like a, a, t a twinge of sadness in it. Uh, and then the snow begins to uh, fly in front of her, uh, and she's going to attempt to disappear back into the mists and just leave him there. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, yeah. So this sadness, and and we see as as you as the snow swirls up and the the mist fades, this knife flies through the mist and like. <laughs> sticks at a tree where behind where you just were. Kane, we will uh, come back to you in your your Rasputin like madness in the wilderness. Um, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I was going to say, also, with the stuff that Beltane had pulled off of Kane that he had sliced, the one thing that is there amongst the clothes is a golden arrow with a heart-shaped arrowhead from nice. back on Thanksgiving. That's the only yeah. thing of his that's left. Yeah, nice. Okay, so uh, you have a, a, a Cupid arrow uh, uh, in your possession, Beltane. Um, 
Well, yeah, let's go back to the scene with the the two of you on the on the edge of a volcano. Loth, what do you say? Uh, depends on how Melting is reacting. He's already walking down the side of the volcano. Arrow still in his hand, but he's heading towards what could be distantly a village. Where are you going? It was mine. He is not yours. He is lost. I found something else. And what did you find? He pauses and turns back. Sacrifices, of course. No. Turns back down and walks towards the village. She she puts a hand onto his shoulder and turns him around. No sacrifices. You have no power here. My sires, we're not going through this again. Are you going to stop me, Lilith? If I must. He steps back. Wings and throw behind him. Please do try. And he bamps away. <sighs> Is he like short distance or long distance? I don't think there's any trees on this volcano, so he's just hopping. She will call out to him in a way that only he can hear. Then I'll be your first sacrifice. He pauses. You have no blood. No. But I have power. I don't want your power. I want theirs. You're not human. What can a simple mortal give you? What they gave me all those years before. Lilith, do you, uh, do you spend blood energy to k- catch up to the teleporting? Yeah. All right. So again, Beltane suddenly with, you know, stupid speed, she's there. Do you just bamf away? Yeah, just keep bamfing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lilith, are you going to keep spending blood energy to keep up? Yeah. All right. You're uh, you're you're steadily growing weaker trying to keep up with the the teleportation. Um Philly, where did you go when you stepped into the mists leaving him in Siberia? Um I think she left but not entirely. Um, she's just keeping an eye on him to make sure he doesn't hurt himself or anybody else. But she is also still injured. So like, there's a very real possibility that he could kill her if she stuck around for too long. So she she like disappeared, but like reappeared up on like a, a hilltop, like very far away and just watched the very small like figure that was him go like, no. Nah! <laughs> All right, uh, Kane, you you start scrawling into the tree uh, a uh, a symbol. It's it's a triangle, but it it's got some intricacies to it. And I'll uh, uh, the in the next within the next month somewhere we'll we'll post the the sign of Raka that you are now scraping into this Just tree outlining my hand <laughs> yep. making a turkey onto it um, question i'm in siberia i i was not dressed for siberia temperatures you cut yeah. your shirt <laughs> i also cut a hole in my shirt yes, i probably but... just had like you know like my my khaki colored trench coat and that was it, really. Your uh, your madness is keeping you warm. Cool. Well, or at least cool, you cool, believe cool. it is. <laughs> yeah. You're not. You're you. You have an inner fire, man. You're you, you are you are lit. No one you're understands also, me. You're mm-hmm. also a freaking lich. 
Yep. <laughs> it was more like, will I take damage from the cold? If no, <laughs> no worries. But Kane is, he's just yelling. He's scaring animals. He's just making <laughs> gobbling sounds, carving shit onto trees. For a while, there's silence, and then you hear the mini accordion, but it's really discordant coming from the woods that he is just now, like, taking up refuge in. This is his kingdom. These woods shall be his. He's just fucking off his rocker. Yeah, and like I said, you're uh, at every chance, you're just, you're breaking, snapping, you know, leaving your mark again it is it is your your kingdom and uh and anything that you can easily break or destroy you do um yeah yeah i think i think we'll we'll leave kane there um i i really think yeah let's see let's see, again we'll go with the improv nature but i think we're gonna end up ending a little early tonight because this took a turn i did not expect no. so um yeah okay i think i have oh uh a final like see if i can convince beltane all right let's see what happens you're you're slowly losing energy as you yeah. you're, you're expending blood to keep up mm -hmm. um she will look at him. She she's haggard because bamfing to her takes blood. And she'll look at him with like uh like a set look. The blood of death runs through my veins. And she'll scratch her arms so she you can see like a black icker coming from her. It will fertilize your fields much more much better than human blood could, like fire fertilizing a new forest, ash growing new life into the ground. Death we'll creating pause. life. Did you say that he'll pause and turn around, go back to you and just pick you up and start heading towards the village again? Your blood is cursed. We saw it so when you were made by us. That's we continue towards the village. That's all she's got. <laughs> all right. I mean, I just... with how many times she he's she's bam she can't like she's lost so much HP she can't she's like low. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you uh so we get this image of the the swirling snows of Siberia and and Lilith being carried by by uh primordial uh Beltane Archfey Beltane uh with the blood crown. Um Yeah, Philly, anything final stuff on this cuz I I'm I'm loving leaving this like <clears throat> hanging with the madness and the I the, I can I, I can I can do it. I can give you one more. Um, right. If you just trust me on this, uh, right. I'll, I'll, I'll give it one more twist on the narrative. Okay. Cool. All right. Uh, feel free to say no if you don't like it. Let's, let's like, go. Let, let me pop. It's the nature. It's the nature of this. Let's do it. All right. There's a. Uh, um, Kane is down down there doing his his his, his nutso thing, uh, and Philly is is watching him. Um, her her like her eyes narrow um she hunches a little um she's still injured she's still uh uh weary um and she she takes her head off she puts it down on the horse's haunches she kind of like rests her hands on top of the head uh and she leans forward as she um tries to get the rest in that she needs in order to heal uh the eyes slowly close uh, and then a few moments pass before Kane appears behind her <laughs> <laughs> with the wild eyes. Um, and like the knife comes up and then it cuts to black. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. All right. Like I said, I, I, I don't want to end early, but at the same time, That's fine. I, I think it's this just, is a perfect this is a, it's just such a good spot. Yeah. 
So with that, I would like to say thank you, GB, for running this absolutely fantastic game. Like you said, I think things went a little different than we were all thinking in the first half. <laughs> Not gonna lie, you really it's got like, me ah, there. Crazy turkey demons. <laughs> 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 hey, guess what? Two of your party members went off the fucking rails, just like any other Thanksgiving family get together. <laughs> I mean, you so. know? <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the crazy uncle. That's fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, you, there are definitely two crazy uncles yeah. that are crazy in their own ways right now. But you want to know who's not crazy? Satan. Satan. I love having you on the show. Where can we find you? What do you do? You don't know that about me. You don't know if I'm crazy or not. No, uh... <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Satan. Uh, you can find me over on Twitter at Elizabeth with two P's. Um, Asked her the handle down there. Uh, you can also find me here on Twitch as Elizabeth, just the one P, because I was able to get that name in time. Um, where I I do art streams. Uh, today I did a really cool stream with uh, a fellow uh, member of the TTRPG community, uh, Angela or phoenix 24 fem on twitter uh where we talked about their creation of creatures uh stat blocks uh where the creature comes from how she thinks up it's it's it turns a really interesting conversation uh while i drew said creature uh if you want to see what it drew it's on my twitter it's a cool shadow dragon echo thing um and then you can also find me playing games here on Twitch, uh, Saturdays at eight o'clock EST. You can find me at Plot Hunters. We're an all LGBTQIA plus NPOC uh, show. So if you like supporting those spaces, come follow us and watch us. We're pretty fun. I play a buff barbarian babe named Melina. She's pretty cool. Um, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. EST. I'm over at uh, the Hype Goblin, uh, where I'm DMing for Jen here and uh, a few other friends. Currently, we have Wings on the channel. Um, <laughs> uh, and where I take them through this uh, little crazy homebrew world uh, that's really a telenovela, not really a TTRPG game. Um, and you can find me here on Thursdays, not tomorrow, but next week at 8.30 ESG p.m., by the way, um, playing my other drag character. With, uh, her name is Vi. She's a drag bard, and she may or may not have killed uh, her numerous previous husbands. Who knows? Uh, hypothetically speaking. Um, and also, once a month, playing this game with these amazing people and this amazing GM. So, yeah. I, I do a lot of things. That's me. And hey, if we're gonna do the out of order order, uh, I'm I'm Wings, also known as Danae Keener. You can find me at DanaeKeener.com. I do nerdy drawings, mostly related to D and D, and a lot of things on this channel. Uh, the next thing that you can find me at is gonna be this Saturday playing uh, uh, playing Over Arms with G Game Knights. Um, playing as Vivian Coyle. Her thing is bees. Uh, so if you like bees, go and check it out. Um, and then after that, uh, we're going to be uh, right here for Tomb of Annihilation, the very last game. So uh, tune in and see how that wraps up. And then uh, after that, you can find me right here again uh, on Monday playing uh, in the Four Keeps game. It's our homebrew right here on this channel. I'll be playing as Coriander the Elgin Paladin. It's always a great time. Uh, I think that's it for me, DanaeKeener.com. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jen. Uh, I play here once a month as uh, Beltane Hawthorne, the Fae Mobster to Lilith's Fae Mobster Kingdom. But you can find I me see over. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you can find me over at Melanded's channel uh, once a week until April starts up again, uh, where I DM my homebrew campaign and take my players to that world and that. Uh, wonderful existence that is there and over on Sundays I am over at the Hype Goblins channel with Satan as my DM. I play Anthony Silverhorn, the Artificer Barbarian and uh, he's having some <laughs> he's having some fun time. He's ready to kick some butt in a mine so that's where I'm going to be todaykeener.com And if you've uh, made it a... oh, No, GB <laughs> we have to go funky uh yeah. well we don't have to but uh graybeard graybeard tavern my schedule is posted on my twitch uh next up because we're not playing uh, uh tyrant security tomorrow night because of turkey day uh 
get out there watch for those demon turkeys all right um yeah so uh, i'll be on friday i'll be on the sprawl <laughs> over on gk nights sunday morning i'll be here playing deep sky derelicts even though it's the holiday weekend we might play something different um and i play with all my toys and it's fun you know uh and then sunday four o'clock i'll be back on g game nights for uh monster of the week and uh, then once a month we're back here with these guys that's it for me gb and if you've made it this far, you probably already know who I am. And if you don't, hey, Acorns, what's up? It's me, your buddy, your pal, your friend, the indoor adventurer, the showrunner here at twitch.tv slash indoor adventures. We do shows like this on Mondays and Thursdays at 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or on Sundays at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If this is your first time joining us and you would like to catch up on all the VODs, you can go to youtube.com slash indoor adventures or check out anywhere audio casts are made available for free. You can find us there under the same moniker. But speaking of things that are being made available for free, we are going to be heading into our after show called Nights in the Courtyard, where we answer questions not only from the community, but also from each other. So if you have any questions that you would like to ask myself or any of these other fine folk, feel free to join us on Discord to ask those questions, and then you can tune in on our Patreon to find out those answers. So with that, I would like to say once again, thank you to GB for running this wonderful game. Thank you to these players for putting over their bullshit once again this week. And we'll see you guys next time. All right, everybody. Bye-bye! <laughs>